So let's see, can we just summarize that part about intensive interaction being for people who are at a pre-verbal stage of development? Is that the case? Yeah, we, we, we've got to be careful about totally giving that impression. Um, uh, yes, we're, we're, we're working on the development of the pre-verbal communication attainments, what we call the fundamentals of communication. And the group of people for whom intensive interaction was developed, uh, they're only a group in the sense that they all have this similar learning need, uh, the fundamentals of communication. Otherwise, it's, it's easy to observe, isn't it? it? It's really easy to observe that each individual learner is just that. They are marvellously, wonderfully diverse and unique and individual as people. They come under certain of our umbrella headings, of course. We, we seem to have this need, don't we, for these umbrella headings. They are often described as people who have severe learning difficulties, severe and complex learning difficulties, profound and multiple learning difficulties. They can have additional multi-sensory impairments. Uh, severe developmental delay and of course many many of them who fall into our intensive interaction group are people who have diagnoses of autism. Previously in, in the past and in fact I think I think we contributed to this in our first book uh, the intensive inter interaction group may all have been described as a group of people who are pre-verbal. However, we've all now realised, particularly from working with lovely people like Tom, who you'll see in a moment, that includes a lot of people, particularly people who have autism, who may be quite accomplished speakers, actually, and may speak in sentences and paragraphs, yet still lack, well, often considerably lack, knowledge about the fundamentals of communication in, in particular the desire to be with other people and to attend and engage with other people and, and, and knowledge about this sense of engagement uh, so therefore even though they have many accomplishments many skills and abilities which which may even be you know like pertinent to their age and stage in various respects they can still be at quite an early level of development as a communicator and intensive interactions for them too. So here is Tom with Abby and uh, as you can see Tom is able to commit considerable intellectual energy to tabletop activities. He, he loves to spend much of the day reading and writing and doing puzzles, cutting things, sticking things, generally very very focused on what's on the tabletop often to the exclusion of more or less everything else and obviously the first challenge for Abby and the others working with him <laughs> is to find all the possible communication moments if you like the intensive interaction moments in and around and amongst Tom's primary focus and with Tom other opportunities present and, and often will take part in what are by analogy, very early type of interactions, even though in many other respects their accomplishments and their skills and abilities are so much further on. Basically, even though they're so much further on and so much older, they, they like play romping and interacting and, and and doing those interactions of the very earliest stages. It's nice and quiet. It was quiet, but in some places, it was dark too. Spot stopped walking and looked from side to side. He thought he saw something striking through the leaves. Creepy a tiger. No. The tiger came out. Oh, it was him. No, said Spot. Spot walked on.
Uh-huh. It was really nice, sir. Oh, it was really nice, sir. It was very nicely. Oh, very nicely. Come to me and watch it somewhere else. Mm. Come to me and watch it something else. Come to be here and watch it something else. <laughs> we'll squeeze. Gesundheit. Thank you. Gesundheit. Squeeze. Ah. 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 That's the squeeze noise. <laughs> 